Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Perizno, Dwarves Only. In the last episode, we faced some hardships and setbacks as we were defeated in battle, and we lost not only our whole army, but also a bunch of prisoners we had, including a couple of Hakon lords. We were doing pretty well, but then we got captured and uh, we're, we had to rebuild our forces after that defeat. Now fortunately I was able to spend a little bit of time off of screen grinding up in the arena and I went ahead and got some new equipment and a bunch of money and I've been able to re rebuild my army a little bit here and I think we're looking pretty decent for the challenges that we're going to face in this episode. I also looked at some of your comments and somebody mentioned that I would have been able to escape from those mercenary cavalry that defeated us if I hadn't gone to the mercenary guild and recruited a bunch of guys, which actually slowed me down enough that they were able to catch up and defeat us. Also the fact that we didn't have the reach of our weapons to fight back effectively against those units. So hopefully in this episode we'll be able to recover and get our revenge. But if we scroll out, as you can see, the Hakon Empire has actually invaded the Dwarves' homeland and are currently raiding uh, the villages here. They've already taken a keep from us, and we're going to have to join our companions in the field and try to resist this invasion before it's too late. Um, so fortunately, I spent a couple of hours last night just grinding in the arena here in Karnoth, but let's set out and see if we can find these invaders and maybe we can help defend the dwarves from this attack that's ongoing. But let's see here, they're gonna have a couple of parties, pretty large parties out here. This is 115, but some of these are looking a little bit smaller. The problem is though that we can't let them gang up on us, and uh, it would appear that, yeah, they're all moving together, and this guy's the emperor himself. So we're gonna have to go support Okay, they're fighting with uh, Gomer over there, and the other dwarves are over here. Um, let's see if we can distract these guys a little bit. And it looks like we can actually take on this guy. And nobody joins on his side. Good. Alright. He says he has the advantage, but we clearly outnumber him, so let's get into it right away. And uh, fortunately, I've got a whole new army rebuilt, and I think we've got a good chance of winning. Now I also went ahead and I got a new crossbow, it's actually a Dwarven Repeater crossbow, and this lets me shoot three bolts before having to reload, which is extremely, I think going to be extremely useful. Alright, let's give everyone the charge order. Let's use our new uh, crossbow, as you can see we can shoot multiple times before having to reload. There we go, nice. Let's keep shooting here. There we go. And yeah, I really like this repeating crossbow. I just had to get it when I saw it, so... Grinding up in the arena is a really good way to make some money back. If you win, you get a thousand orms for winning each time. You also get renown. And so... Let's see, I also got a new axe. Which is uh, doubles as a one or two-hander, depending how... Whether or not I have my shield equipped. So there we go. And I think we're doing alright here. And the only way that I think we can really resist the Hakons is if we defeat them in detail. Meaning we break up their forces. Because if they're all clumped up together, then they're gonna definitely win. But if they get separated like this guy did, we do stand a chance. And I think we're doing fairly well here. Alright. I keep forgetting to turn off that uh, my graphics card thing that keeps popping up in the corner, but that's alright. We'll do that later. Alright. Good, good, good. Well done, men. We're really mopping them up here. Let's go, let's go! There we go. Good job, boys. Here's a crossbowman or sharpshooter. There we go, good job, good job. Okay. Oh boy. Alright. 
and uh, we're going to have to f drive back these invaders and take back the keep. I think that would be a good objective for this episode. And if maybe even if we could find those mercenary cavalry from before and defeat them and take we could maybe take back some of our prisoners. So I don't know if we'll be able to get around to that, but it would be a nice a nice goal for sure. And like I said, this is both two-handed and one-handed, so you can actually use this a little bit faster with a two-handed, but then if there's archers, I can take out my shield and I can still swing. So I really like this axe. Very versatile. And there we go, everybody's chasing down the last guy. Classic mountain blade stuff. There we go. Nice, well done, men. Good job. Our first victory of the day. We lost four men. We defeated him. He managed to escape. We'll take the prisoners. And let's see. Ooh, yes, we could take 52 prisoners now. That's pretty solid. We'll take them all. All right, and we rescued a few miners there. Sure, we'll take them. Let's take this stuff. Okay. Some soldiers are ready to upgrade. Let's get those upgrades ready. And we do have the money that we won from those tournaments to help us out. I'm going to get some more crossbowmen, actually, because I think that will be good. And then maybe, should we get a halberdier or warrior? I feel like warriors are what I usually get. I think I might just get another halberdier. So they're effective against the enemy cav. Alright, let's see. Now, there's a big battle going on over there. Uh, let's take a look. What are the numbers? 247 dwarves versus 339 of theirs. Imperial General Vlamos is over here. Do we dare take him on? Let me just look at his troops. I think we can do this. Should we try it? He's also got a lot of Kaikoth uh, prisoners. Oh man, I think... Let's see, well, he's already following us. And he is gonna... Let's see, here comes King Bergnar. Alright, maybe we should uh, see if Bergnar wants to join in. Okay, we've separated him. Okay, King Bergnar just turned around. He's going for Severus. I say we maybe just we take this army on. Even though, yeah, maybe we just stick with King Bergnar. What is he doing? He's just marching back and forth. Yeah, he's he's going between these two. Oh man, I hate the Warband AI so much sometimes. This is like the guy uh, in Napoleon's army who just kept marching back and forth uh, on the day of Waterloo. And then, like, he didn't help either side. Alright, Bergnar went to join this battle, so I'm gonna go and join in. Now we have 366 against their 293, and we actually outnumber them. It's gonna be a massive battle, but let's go for it, boys. Let's go! Everyone follow me. And, uh, alright, we got our allies here. This is gonna be a huge one. Alright, everybody's charging out. We got some strong, solid troops here. Here they come on their cavalry, of course. Oh man. I don't want to waste my uh, my shots, but... There we go. Alright, let's see here. Okay, good, good, good. These are my men here. Let's go in, boys. Everybody charge. Looks like we're doing a pretty good job, though. Let me put away my shield, actually. And we have a decent uh, two-handed skill as well. Seeing a lot of green on the ticker there, so... I think we're doing alright. Alright, holy moly. Let's not get swamped ourselves, though. I want to stay alive as long as we can here. Come on. Yeah, these some of these uh, hack on troops are actually fairly tough. I, I gotta get, give it to them. All right, let's give a rally. All right, 24% hit points for our 45 troops. Gotta make use of your abilities. Oh, okay. 
There we go. Got a hit there. Oh man, this brutal battle under the moon, the light of the moon. May the gods of the dwarves smile upon us today and drive back these invaders. If we can defeat them here, we can break the invasion. So this this is really going to be a serious fight. All right. All right, just getting close. They got a lot of these guys here. Bringing them into my men. There we go. There we go. Man, the freaking hate when the horses trample over. And I don't want to get go down too quickly here. Because then I'm worried that uh, auto resolve won't shine, work too kindly. I always feel like you have a better chance actually fighting it than just letting the auto resolve do it. There we go. Come on. There's more of them charging in. Man, but I am seeing a lot of green on here. Looks like uh, the dwarves have a lot of very strong troops on the field today. Burn them with a dwarven fury. Alright, I want to see if I can find some kills with this new repeater crossbow because this thing is pretty sweet. Yeah, I gotta remember to not hit Altar at the same time. It brings up the little overlays. Alright, here they are. Oh man, but there's so much of a mess of our own men and them. I don't want to shoot my own guys, you know. There we go. There we go. Love that instant reload, or like that, you get to shoot three times before you have to reload, so. It's really nice. There's another sh uh, kill. Alright boys, can I do another rally? There we go. Let me heal myself a bit. Only four hit points, it's still something. There's a kill. That snipe there, oh. Alright, cavalry right here, okay. New enemies are arriving onto the field. They're sending in reinforcements, but our men are pushing ahead. Alright. Just keep sniping away on their archers here and crossbows. There's a hit. Okay. Looks like we're still doing well, though. Our allies are pretty strong here. Okay. Let's move up behind our infantry that are just cleaving a path of iron and blood through them. There we go. Repeating bolts is awesome. Alright, let's not shoot our allies here. Miss. Okay. That's a good shot. Oh crap. Cavalry being annoying. Just hide behind this tree and keep sniping away. And then you can also, there's an ability that lets you, ooh, we gotta level up. Let's take a look at that. I'm gonna put that to strength. And then what should I get? I feel like a trainer would be good. Yeah, maybe trainer. Um, prisoner management would be nice. Power strike would be nice. Shield. Uh, I don't think we really are relying much on shield. I think we'll get it to trainer. And I'm going to increase two-handed, and I guess, I don't know, maybe pole arms. Why not? All right, there we go. There we go, took that horse out. There we go. Let them feel the fury of our axes. And there we go, we won this round of the battle. Well done, men. Very good. We lost 7, allies lost 24, and we took down 232. This is going extremely well. 302 troops fit for battle against enemies 21. Um, yeah, sure. You know what? I, I would auto-resolve, but I, I want to enjoy the satisfaction of crushing these invaders myself. Everyone, charge. Keep accidentally taking screenshots and so on. Let's see if we can get a few more kills here. Well, I'm feeling much better now. The last episode, we took so many losses that 
and struggled so much to rebuild it that this episode I'm feeling much better about the direction we're going in. Actually, let me br bring my guys back. I don't want to lose my uh, anyone too quickly here. Okay. Alright, let's fall back. Everybody, charge! Alright, there we go. Here's our allies. Crush them, men! Alright, let's go for their uh, crossbow, crossbow uh, sharpshooters. Yeah, we're just destroying them now. This is so good. This is going very well. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's freaking go, man. They came here and we we we're giving them what for. Now let us strip their dead and leave them for the crows so that all will know the fate of those who come against us. That's right, Gomer. And we got Hakon Theocritus as a prisoner. We got Hakon Thales as a prisoner. These other guys managed to escape. And look at this, we get a Mountain Keeper, an Iron Guardsman, a High Seeker, Mountain Warrior, all of these guys will hire, 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 yes, yes, only Dwarves we're going to hire. Alright, and then the rest of these guys, you shall be our prisoners. Oh my gosh, huge haul, and because we have actually good capacity for prisoners, we can take all these guys now. I'm very glad that we uh, were able to join in there and partake in the destruction of the invading armies. Very satisfying indeed. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Let's maybe... Is there anyone I should get rid of? I feel like I probably have a few low level like war prisoner, slave prisoner, hack on footmen. And then let's see. Let me get some more of you guys that look pretty decent. Mercenary shack, shock cavalry, shack cavalry. Uh, all right, I'm not gonna spend too much more time. Let's just get a few more. No idea what's the best. Maybe a spearman and mercenary swordsman. Okay, and then let's see here. Let's get you to be a warrior. All right, full prisoners. No one else to recruit. And here we go. Cool. We'll take the loot for ourselves to sell for our own riches. 305. Yeah, we can replace that. Three. Yeah. All right, that's fine. And like that, we have scored a huge victory against the Hakon Empire. We're gonna get some more upgrades now. And very nice. Very nice indeed. I think we should immediately head back and sell the prisoners and the loot. Tolronium, Akavia made peace. Okay, we're gonna have to take back Kahadir Keep. Yeah, I think we'll do that next. So let's head to Karnoth. Let's go visit the tavern. Where's Mr. Prisoner Guy? There you are. Sell all the prisoners. 10,428. Holy moly. Beautiful, beautiful indeed. Let's go and sell some things. And yeah, I think we'll sell all of this loot now. And call it a deal. Very, very good. I'll keep the heavy crossbow, because if we run into Barambur again, I want him to have that. Um, let's see, should we get any mercenaries? Let's talk to Halmius real quick. Hire some mercenaries. I'll take eight of them. How are we doing? It looks like our party is full now. So, okay. Alright, we're making good progress again. King Bergnar is here. Oh yeah, and we can actually talk to him uh, about the task he gave me. Oh indeed, I've captured a lord from the Hakon Empire for you. 4,000 orums, 2,500 experience, and we gained, we went from 21 to 29 relation. Alright, uh, certainly my lord. Do you have any tasks? We have received that a force word of a Hakon Empire force. Well, 
Very good. Okay, I'm gonna do a save right now. That went much better than uh, I I was initially thinking. I was scared we were gonna get defeated and that again we would have to uh, start rebuilding. But let's go to Kahadir Keep now, and let's take a look here. Also, let me talk to you. Um, you will remain my prisoner. You are free to go. Okay. Okay, he's pissed. I can understand. I get it. It sucks being captured. Now, they took Kahidir Keep. I think we're going to go ahead and besiege this. And we're going to try to take it back. Now, let's see. We can build a siege tower, call for meeting, or wait until tomorrow. Should we build a siege tower? If only we had Barambur, because it's going to take so long that... Hmm. Um, let's just wait until tomorrow. And let's see if we can uh, lead the men in a charge. We made peace with them? Well, apparently we just made peace with them. King Bergnar is recognizing your loyal service as a vassal by rewarding you with an ancestral longsword. Okay, cool. We got an ancestral longsword. Hello, that's actually... I think I might equip that. 52 cut damage, that's better. 50 pierce damage, better speed rating, better weapon reach. It only doesn't have the bonus against shields, but... Very cool, I guess we'll take that and use it. It's also a two-handed, one-handed, just like the heavy iron axe, but... Alright. Now, I'm not entirely sure why we made peace when they... They just invaded us and took over our keep, and then we won that huge battle with them. Why is King Bergnar making peace and not... Now Jahar is at war with Hakon. Okay, we're gonna have to uh, figure out how we're going to expand the empire. Let's see if we can... Let's let's go... There's King Bergnar doing his usual patrols around. Um, let's say, my lord, you should declare war in a kingdom. Hakon Empire. Um... Now, for the reason, should we say they're weaker and we can easily beat them, or should we say we can't tolerate their provocations any longer? They're already in a war and currently distracted. It's the right time to attack. We should get back our lost land. I think that's the best reason. We should get back our lost land. Well, anything else? Um, they are already in a war and they're currently distracted. Well, they are at war with Trahara now. Um, and... Uh, Let's say they are weaker and we can easily beat them. Um, I mentioned all the reasons for war. Please think about it. Should we say we, we can't tolerate their provocations any longer? And it's the right time to attack. Alright, no, I am not convinced we won't attack Hakon Empire. Deteriorated by one point. Weird. Okay, well... He's fine with them setting up shop in Kahadir Keep. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do anything about that, really. That's too bad. I was hoping that we'd be able to, uh... I mean, now I have a strong enough army that, I, like... Ah, uh, well, well, when we're king of the, the dwarves, we'll be able to do this. We came across a small group of freelancers that seem to have recently abandoned their former captain. Um, could just continue on. I'm not gonna lose honor by killing or whatever. Yeah, well, they, they're, they've set up shop in our ancestral lands, man. We can't let that, we can't tolerate that, you know? Alright, building of mill in Ganegoiba has completed, so let's head to Ganegoiba, and, um... I think we're gonna go ahead and start another building in our fief, manage the village. So we have a mill, watchtower, and palisade now. Let's see, we could do a guard post. This allows mercenaries to defend the village during infestations and raids. Um, I think that would be the next best thing. We could also get a school, and this increases the loyalty of the villagers by plus one every month. I think the school might be better too. The messenger post. Let's the inhabitants send you a message whenever enemies are nearby, even if you're far away. I think we actually should do the messenger post. So let's go ahead and get the messenger post building there. Very good, very good indeed. And how
how are we doing? Are there any wars going on now? Because we made peace with everybody. Well, we made a truce with Hakon Empire. We also made a truce with Realm of the Falcon for some reason. I don't know if they were attacking us before. But, um, very well. Now I think would be a solid time to actually do something that others have recommended. And we do have the money for it. We have 21,000 now. Is if we head, let's head back to Dwalnor. And let's see. Yeah, okay, wages are fine. They're, 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 they are what they are. Somebody suggested to me that I should try doing a caravan. And this is actually a way that you can make money. Is by running a caravan from one city to another. Now, the version of Persno we're playing on is version 1.4.6. And in the 1.5 update, which is uh, currently out but is still kind of under development as I understand, you actually have to pay money to buy a caravan license. But you don't have to do that in this version. Wow, Kalrak has a lot of men. He's got 111 master miners. Very cool. Uh, let's take a look. More guys ready to upgrade. Let's get some more crossbowmen. Let's get a wolf knight. And very good, very good indeed. And so basically to set up a caravan, what you do is you visit the tavern. And I haven't done this yet, so let's see if I can figure this out. I think... Alright, Lisa Tanwood. Good day, dear sir. How can I help you? Um... Let's see, are there any bounties posted? I want to do a caravan run. Hmm, yes, I do have some goods that I need to let go of. I'm not sure if you should take this, but the local merchants and I have rounded up a large haul of goods for the next time a caravan leaves town. You can pay 24,271 orums for all of it right now, and it will benefit us greatly. But I must warn you, this amount is really expensive and incredibly heavy. Please be certain you're up, you're up for the task before accepting. I'd recommend selling this far away from here, as the locals are unlikely to pay well. Give whoever you sell to my seal to know where these goods, whoever you sell to my seal to know where these goods came from. They will pay you depending on how experienced you are in trading. They won't listen to your companions, and so I hope you are cunning. Will you accept? No, I've decided not to go through this. All right, so we don't have quite enough money to do the uh, caravan yet. Apparently, I thought that you could choose how much, how much you can do. You can also purchase improvements to the wagon. We can't afford any of these improvements yet, so it looks like we're going to have to hold off on the caravan run for now. Are there any bounties posted? Well, we are a bounty hunter by trade. A uh, lawless villain known as Tamis of Murdenhall. There's a bounty on their head. Um, taking refuge with their kinsmen at Tollhow. Eh, this kind of a... If this is like one of those lawless villain quests, that's kind of... Do you have any larger bounties? A group of marauding bandits have descended upon the local neighborhood. Um, defeat the party and report back. Defeat a group of marauding bandits, so I guess we'll do that now. Why not? Let's go... Let's see, there's also a guild master. So let's actually talk to the guild master. Good day, my lord. Um, so you can ask him how trade is. I wish to buy land in this town for productive enterprise. Alright, apparently we're not able to do that. Do you happen to have a job for me? Herdsman to take his cattle to market. The cattle herd must be a Karnoth within 30 days. Got 1,080 orums. Um, you know what, sure, let's just move the, move the cattle. That sounds like an easy job. Alright, cattle herd, drive them onward. Let's go. Now there's actually, here's the group of marauding bandits. And we got D Durgrim's Calarak here. Is he gonna join us? Yeah, he joined on our side. Okay, we can do this. You've been causing a lot of trouble around here and I don't have to answer to you. Surrender or die. We have 286 against their 208. Then we'll deal with the cows. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, everyone follow me. I'm gonna go to my usual spot up here. Actually, let's move forward this way. Looks like our allies are charging forward. Good thing Calrac was right there to help us with this, because that's a pretty big army. We would have been outnumbered otherwise. All right, let's get up to the hill here. 
Alright, Calrac is unleashing a battle cry. Very nice. Let's get up onto this hill, men. And I really like the the repeating crossbow looks awesome. Alright, let me send a charge here. Yeah, they got these cavalry archer type things. Alright. Okay. There we go, a couple of kills, one after the other, I'd love to see it. Yeah, a lot of these guys look pretty crappy. There we go. Oh, that's the guy we gotta kill right there. Knight of Doom. Alright, we killed him. Oh, nice. Okay. We also got this Ancestral Longsword. Let's try this out now. Uh, okay, that guy got wrecked. There's a kill. There's another kill. There we go. Alright, this guy looks like a fairly strong unit. Oh, come on. Oh, I love the uh, sound effects they make. They're like, oh. <laughs> Alright, good job, men. Good job, good job. Here, I want to bring all of my archers that I have up here. Every, all my archers should be up here on the top of the hill. Just raining fire down on them. There we go. Let me reload. Let's gonna get some more snipes here. There's a kill. Alright. Okay. Okay. Crap. Oh yeah, these guys have bows or something, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna heal myself. There we go, I dismounted him. Some of my men are closing in on him. I think we're doing pretty well here, actually. Alright, and then also let me try one of the abilities just borrow ammo. Look at that. I can actually take ammo from my troops and replenish my own stores of am ammunition that way. Very good. Look at all the green. All the green is lo lovely to see. Oh! Okay. Alright, let me uh, rally my men a little bit here. 53 men get 24% hit points. Very good, very good. Alright, let's see, they're closing in on this guy. Got the kill. Knight of Doom. Awesome. Alright. I think one more shot and we can knock him off. Alright. Oh. Alright. Keep shooting here. One last shot. Alright, I think we're doing okay here. Can I, uh... I can do another battle cry if I wish. Um, hold on, whoops. Should I... Actually, how do I uh, make this go away? Infantry charge, yeah. It's always the disadvantage is when they have a lot of cavalry, which is why I started creating those like wolf rider and tiger riding guys. Like, once they're on the ground, they we can beat them pretty easily. Alright, let's do another battle cry. Replenish my men a little bit. I like how you, just by doing a battle cry, you heal your guys, but then when you do first aid on yourself, you barely heal anything. 
<laughs> like... Yeah, I guess I have to get more of the wound treatment skill or surgery or something. I don't know which one it is. But, uh, it's all on the wiki, so it's really nice to have a wiki you can check all of that out on. And I do put that link in the video description, so... Alright, how many of these guys are left? I mean, I know there was a lot, but... Come on, bring them down, boys! Oh, man. Alright, well... At least we got this ancestral sword. That was a pretty nice gift from King Bergnar. There we go, good job, good job. Let's take this guy down next. Damn it. Okay. <sighs> I wonder how what the reward is for this. It better be good. Come on. Like, I'm holding down the sprint button here, too. Let me rally the boys. And this battle cry renews pretty frequently, so there's no reason to not use it. There we go, Marauder killed. They got that one as well. Oh man. Fell on top of his dead horse. Come on, bring him down. We're almost done here. Let me heal myself. Come on, boys. Alright, we brought him down. Okay. I can't... Can I ride this horse? I mean, I guess I can ride the horse. I did say I'm doing an on-foot build, but... I gotta chase these guys down somehow. I think this is the first time I've actually ridden a horse through the whole series so far. Come on! Stop running away! <laughs> this is definitely like the last guy. This is how like every warband battle goes. There's just one guy left and he's just like running away from your whole army while everyone's just chasing him down. Gotta love it. It's very awesome. Very epic. Look at this! He's just running away from everyone. Everyone, this, the whole army is behind him. <laughs> and, well, I'm out of ammo. He's not even trying to retreat, he's still trying to fight. Like, dude, at this point, just run away, just flee the field of battle. At least then you have a chance to live. Oh my god. Alright, now he's drawing his axe. All right, come on. All right, let me uh, dismount from here. There we go, finally, holy shit. Oh, well done, men. Good job. All right, we only lost two guys. Our allies lost three, we killed 195 of them. Let's take the prisoners. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get some of these upgrades. You guys are going to be cavalry. You're going to be, I guess, warriors. And we got a rusty giant cleaver. Yeah, that's not better than what we have, so let's just take all of this. Barbed arrows, steel bolts. Yeah, we got better bolts, too. Um, okay, that's enough. Alright, good, good, good. Alright, we got... We defeated... We won the quest. Okay, good. I'm gonna go here, sell this loot. And just highlight these. Alright, cool. Uh, I guess we could sell the prisoners, and then we'll, we'll, we'll do the cows thing. You know, why not? If we're heading that way anyways. Alright, good, good, good. Let's bring these cows over. More upgrades too. Let's get some more crossbowmen for sure. Very good. And uh, let's make sure these cows can keep up with us.
right, they gotta get to Karnoth. Alright. Alright, here we are at Karnoth. There we go. Cool. How we doing on quests? Alright, we gotta go talk to uh, the guild master and the barkeep about these quests now. I'm really hoping that we can go back to war so we can take back the fortress that we lost. I mean, I guess I could try to convince Bergnar to go to war again. But if we fail the... Uh, yeah, let's take actually take a look at our character. We have zero in persuasion. And this is what you need to make NPCs convinced of what you want to do. So, yeah, the fact that we don't even have a single point, maybe we should just invest a point to that. But, uh, let's go claim our reward. Um, I found the dangerous bandits and gave them their punishment. We get 3,800 experience. Very good. Nice. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Talk to the guildmaster. Tell him about the cows. We get 360 experience, we gain one renown, we improve relation with Dwalner. Very good indeed. No nobles to hire. Alright, very good indeed. And, um, yeah, hopefully we can increase our relations with uh, Bergnar enough that he'll be convinced to go back to war. But overall, I think we're doing alright now. Uh, more upgrades, sure. We'll get more crossbowmen. We got a very nice group of crossbowmen here now. And um, I'm not sure what we should do next. Let's just take another look at Kaikoth Confederation relations. Oh, yeah, we got a truce with Hakon. So if we can maybe put a point to persuasion, we'll have an easier time convincing Bergnar of what we want to do. But yeah, overall, I think uh, we're in a good spot. And I think I might actually just go ahead and call it there for this episode. We've done a lot. We've repelled the Hakon invasion. We've done a few quests, defeated some marauding bandits. We got some really nice new equipment, ancestral longsword, this mountain shield, repeating crossbow, and so on. And uh, let's see, we, hit, we got 24,000 gold, so maybe we'll try to do the caravan in the next episode. I think I actually know which town we'll go. We'll go from Dwalnor to... If we do wind up doing that, I think we'll go to, uh, what's it called? Grozny, I think it's called? Because there's actually a chart that shows you, um... That shows you, like, where you get the most gold from delivering to, and Grozny, yeah, Dwalnor to Grozny is, uh, the most, uh, money. So, if we can complete that trek in the next one, and maybe we'll try that. But, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Parisno, and I hope to catch you all in the next one. Peace.